to the Kawoki Association Retention Survey Report 2019-2021. My name is Aideen Howland and I am the Participation and Retention Coordinator for the Kawoki Association and it is my pleasure to guide you through this report. Over the last three years, the Kawoki Association has engaged with members and non-members around the topic of retention through the form of the Retention Survey. We would like to thank all those who have contributed their thoughts, opinions and suggestions on what retention is and how it can be supported going forward. On screen now is the number of people who engage with the survey. On the left, the total columns indicate the number of people who completed a portion of the survey and on the right indicate the number of people who completed the survey in its totality. Mount Komogi caters for all ages and the retention survey was no different. As you can see, the breakdown of those who took part in the survey is on screen now. It is worth noting that the majority of respondents fell between the age bracket of 35 and 54, which will be consistent with the age bracket of the majority of our volunteers. It is also worth noting that the lowest number of respondents were aged 24 and under. This could lead us to believe that this particular method of communication is not suited to this age group and that further thought should be given to methods of engagement when considering this group in particular. Over the course of the three years, we charted the primary Camogie roles of those who took part in the survey. It is highly encouraging to see that club coaches of underage players, as well as club players, accounted for the highest number of respondents. This can be seen favourably and shows that clubs are highly engaged in retention and wish to keep their players and members involved for as long as possible. An important part of the retention survey was the inclusion of a range of definitions and asking respondents to choose which one they felt was most relevant to them. Consistently, it was found that definition one and definition three on the left-hand side of your screen were the most highly rated. I would encourage you now to take a few moments to read through each one. Unfortunately, we had to account for the influence of COVID-19 in 2020 and 2021. It was in highly encouraging to see last year that over 85% of those taking part in the survey did intend to return to their primary role within their club once the return to play protocols were enacted and less than 1% felt they would not return. This figure was similar in 2021 with a, of 85% of those returning, with a slight increase to 5% of those who did not wish to return. It is important at this stage for us all to remember that COVID-19 has impacted all of our lives in individual ways, and that those intending not to return right now may wish to do so in the future, and that the door will always remain open to them. Each year of the survey, respondents were asked, what words come to mind when you hear the word retention? There was a huge array provided with a small selection being presented to you now in the bottom left of the screen. Some of these words are inclusive, improve, equal, enjoyment, encouragement, a chance, safe, contribution, passion. It is very clear that retention means different things to many different people based on the variety of these words alone. When considering retention within your environment, try to ensure to get as many opinions and as much feedback as possible that will help support and build an environment that will meet the needs of as many members as possible. What are the factors that have a highly positive or positive influence on participation in the game? It is worth noting that in all three years of the survey, enjoyment was the factor that came out on top as the most highly positive influence on participation, followed closely by social and health benefits, as well as relationships and community involvement. Again, it is worth keeping in mind these factors when trying to build an environment which promotes and supports retention. Look at the same factors and how they can have a negative influence on participation. It can be seen that very few were noted as highly negative. It can also be noted that work commitments over the three years have had an influence on people's ability to take part, as well as those factors out of our control due to COVID-19. 
As important as the positive factors are, we must be open to discussing the factors that are negatively influencing participation and figure out the best way we can overcome them whilst keeping our players and volunteers to the forefront. When asked, who do you feel would benefit most from any retention support, initiative or event, the respondents believed that the players would be the biggest benefactors of any retention initiatives. Again, this would lead us to the suggestion that by including the thoughts and opinions of players on any potential actions or initiatives that support retention should be included, supported and acted upon. Up to now, we have seen people's opinions on what retention is to them and who would benefit from it. However, when asked, have you ever experienced any retention project or initiative in your club, your team, a county or even your workplace? The response was an overwhelming no. However, there is a small encouragement to see that over the three years, the number of respondents who indicated yes to this experience has slightly increased year upon year. I believe it may be fair to suggest that those involved in our games are fully aware of the need for retention, but are perhaps unsure how to practically provide it in their own environments. So with what we have learned so far in mind, what are some practical tips and tricks that can be used? Using the game itself, think about interacting with your local schools, how you interact with them. Do you have a club school coach who can link the club and the school together? Have you dedicated promotion time and space in the local community? Are people aware of what your club can provide? Try organising a fun day to encourage school going children and their parents to come out and play in the club. Try and provide games opportunities that are outside the norm and outside the traditional windows that can be non-competitive and are participation based. Work to encourage your coaches to be positive and to have a balance of enjoyment and fun with technical coaching and competitive tactics. Think of ways to incorporate the game of camogie through camps, having guest coaches and a more social camogie environment. Outside of the field of play, communication, cooperation and clarity came through as popular suggestions of respondents over the last three years. There was a strong focus on providing education to help our referees, coaches and volunteers improve and appeal to as many people as possible. It was also noted on many occasions the absolute importance of female role models and the role of parents in supporting their local clubs and all those who participate in it. Again, outside the lines of the field of play, many of the suggestions focused on the social and relationship aspects that the game of camogie can provide. Having an end of season activity away from the field, having specific time for social activity and getting players actively involved in fundraisers that strengthen their sense of community and contribution to their club were seen as highly positive. As noted in the previous slides, social, relationship and community factors were highly positive influencers for participation in Camogie. If you are involved in your Camogie club, you are actively encouraged to think outside the blocks to make your club a place people want to be. In 2020 and 2021 in particular, Camogie clubs and counties were forced to be more innovative than ever due to the restrictive factors imposed upon us by COVID-19. The use of online tools skyrocketed over these two years and the volunteers within the Camogie embraced this challenge by creating exercise sessions, social media challenges and competitions and social online events for their members to interact with each other. This was a great way to engage especially young people and continues to be a great way to interact within your club environment and should be considered as a method of supporting retention going forward. As well as online, consideration can be given to a youth committee or a youth forum to be established. This is a space for young people to express their thoughts, views and opinions on the activities within the club that directly affect them and those who are coming behind them. 
It was also suggested that small actions, such as a calendar of ongoing events, can act as an encouragement for people to get involved. Celebrating such things as birthdays and other milestones show members that they are valued and recognised as people and not just members. The Association would like to thank you for taking the time to review the Retention Survey 2019-2021 report. We would again also like to thank all those who contributed to this survey. Retention is not an easy task. It requires long-term engagement from many stakeholders and begins the first time a person steps into the club or county environment. Throughout the course of our involvement with the game, it is not unreasonable to find that some people will fall away from the game through no fault of the club or the environment, just due to the natural factors of life. Those involved with Camogie at any level are encouraged to remember that their participation is valued and that the many benefits Camogie can offer are always available. Retention is the responsibility of every member of the association. I would ask you all to take this information on board and use it to ask if you can improve, if your club environment can improve going forward. Retention will not unfortunately happen overnight. It will take a long period of time. But remember that most people don't want to be part of the process. They just want to be part of the outcome but the process is where you figure out what is worth being part of the outcome for. Thank you.